Hi again, everyone. My name is Kathy on Facebook. I have a fan page. It's called Kathy's Weight Loss Journey. My name is K-A-T-H-I, just in case you want to look for it. I want to talk today about staying motivated and not stressing out about people who will hate on you. There are going to be so many people that hate on you. The thing that I've realized is when I first started losing weight at 330 pounds, when I told people that I really wanted to try and lose weight, everybody was over the moon about it. They were so excited for me and happy for me and supportive and, and all that. But once you get to the point where you are getting close to their weight, you are getting skinnier than them, or they realize this chick is serious, oh, all of the hateful, nasty comments start. Believe me, I have heard it all from backhanded compliments to being told that I need to get um, gastric bypass to people flat out telling me that I will fail. I can't do it, therefore you can't do it. And I've been told that by my manager before. So you just have to get to a point where it will bother you, especially when you're first starting out. And like I tell people who are trying to lose weight, you have to get very thick skin because people will try to beat you down. They want you to fail. And I come to really realize that. Because again, when you start getting serious and you get to their size or smaller, they are no longer happy for you. They are so happy for you to try and lose weight as long as you remain the fat friend. That's all they want. You can lose weight as long as you are still the fat friend. So when you start getting close to people's weight, they will slowly start getting little comments and insults and little jabs at you or trying to make you feel like you can't do it or demotivate you or push food on you. Um, I will make another video about food pushers. I've made one before, but I have, I'll redo it. The thing is, is that when people they hate on you, it's really because they don't want to do it or they can't do it and they just want to make you not do it either. People don't want to see other people succeed at things when they can't do it or don't want to do it themselves. And one thing that I really use is when people tell me that I cannot do something, watch. That is the quickest way to get me to do something. People try and belittle me and insult me. Like I said before, it really used to bother me and it used to get underneath my skin and I did not understand. And there were some people that I really did not expect it from, but you get it. And you just have to get to the point where I take it to the gym. I will replay what someone says to me over and over and I will work harder, I will work faster, I will work longer because I will prove you wrong. So just turn around and use all that negativity that people use to try and beat you down and just turn it to positive and use it to light that fire and kick your ass in the gym and do better. And that's one of the biggest things that that I, I've really I've really learned and that I really tell people because People, again, they will beat you down and you just, you really kind of do have to get really thick skin because I could write a book on the nasty comments people have told me. I could, I could really write a book. People have told me, why do I bother? Because no matter how much weight I'm lose, I'm always going to be fat. Um, people have told me that, why do I bother? Because I'm always going to have fat girl legs. Um, you're never going to do it. You're going to gain it all back. And then some, I mean, I came to work and there was food on my desk. I've had people leave me cookies. I actually had somebody try to literally shove hot wings down my throat. I almost got fired, but she tried to shove them in my face because, no, don't do that. So, again, I could write a book on all the things people say, and they still continue to say them today. One thing that... I've really learned that it's true when people, they hate on you for it. Back um, in the early 2011, I had a lot of medical issues. And the end of last year, I had two tumors removed. Uh, one was the size of a cantaloupe. One is the size of a softball, along with my ovary. It caused me to gain 80 pounds in six months. You would be amazed at how many people like that. They, they loved it. The fact that I had gained weight. Nobody was really supportive or even understanding why I was gaining. In, at the time, I didn't understand it either, but nobody was ever really sympathetic. They weren't. They loved it. And it's just the comments didn't start. You know, people really weren't, weren't nasty to my face about me gaining weight, but it's just you could tell that 
you can tell when people really like it. It's just the way they act. They're nicer to you when you gain weight. They're more friendlier. They'll, they just want to be around you more. And it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's so different. And I just, you know, with everything I was going through, that's the last thing I needed. And that weight gain almost broke me. It just, it was really, really terrible. And, but the thing that really gets me now is, now that I'm losing the weight, it is slower than I want. Even It is slower, but um, I've lost 50 pounds this year, so I'm at 106 pounds lost as of now. Um, but people, the comments are starting again. The little hateful little remarks are starting again. The little side eyes starting again. And you know what? I missed it. I I feel really good now when they say that because obviously... If they're being so nasty and negative to me because I'm losing weight or even if I'm not, for them to, to say that, it's just, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's just, I know I'm doing something right. So don't let people get to you. Don't let people bring you down. Don't let people beat you because they will try their hardest. And I mean, it's like that with, with everything, with money, success, you name it. So people, are they will beat you down, even the people that you just do not expect it from you know so just make sure you get really good thick skin use it as motivation don't you know don't beat yourself up over it because trust me I don't need anybody else to beat me up over something because I am worse on myself I say things to myself that I would never say to anybody else so somebody saying something negative to me I've said things a million times worse so I think it's funny I think it's you know I just laugh because honestly if people are so jealous, it's flattery. I honestly take it as flattery because obviously I'm doing something right. Obviously they're mad at me for that and motivation and flattery. So I just really honestly think it's funny. So don't let somebody get to you. Grow some thick skin. Keep your head up. Work your ass off. Prove them all wrong and go get them.